Uh, well, hello guys. Welcome to our very first vlog, our video log. You know, I, I'd never heard of the word vlog until uh, Frugal uh, mentioned it in one of his uh, very first uh, videos, and I was a vlog. It sounds like someone from Star Trek. Uh, video log. So here we go. A little video where I update you on uh, what we've been doing at Airline to Sim over the last year and exactly what you can expect to see and hear from us over the next few weeks and the next few months. Uh, now, first of all, you're probably, uh, there might be two questions, I guess, on your mind. Uh, one is if you've never heard of Airline to Sim, what is Airline to Sim all about? What do we do? What's, what's the whole idea here? Um, and secondly, if you have heard of Airline to Sim, exactly where we've been for the last year and why we've been a bit, um, a bit dark, a bit, uh, a bit off the grid, as they say in uh, 24. Uh, okay, let me answer the first question first. Um, Airline to Sim is very simply a flight simulation company that is passionate about some of the most complicated add-ons that we have in the sim. So things like the Majestic Dash 8 Q400, the PMDG 777, uh, the PMDG 737NG. Um, there, there are loads of them. You, you know all the really, really good add-ons, right? Uh, so very simple. Simply, we have a team of real pilots who fly these aeroplanes in real life for a living and we get them here into our studio and we recreate, if you like, the training regime that they went through when they joined the airline and then we go off and recreate a kind of typical day in the life, if you see what I mean, of that particular pilot. So our first course was for the Majestic Dash 8 Q400 and it was called the Cadet Course and it was taught by a guy called Josh who is uh, a, a pilot... In fact, uh, I'm telling you a lie because he's actually left that airline now and he's actually flying the Airbus for somebody else. But at the time, he was uh, a pilot for a large regional operator of the Q400. Um, and uh, we went off and we learned some basic things about the airplane. And then we went off and recreated some realistic routes that you might fly in the Dash 8 from the Isle of Man, which is a tiny little island in the Irish Sea between uh, Ireland and, and, and Great Britain, the uh, the mainland of uh, the UK. Uh, then we flew off to Birmingham in the middle of the country, down to Guernsey, which is a little island uh, off the coast of France, and then back up to London Gatwick. So a real typical kind of day in the life. And we went into great detail about how this whole operation is managed and how it's all done by the real crews on the Q400. Um, we then wanted to do some more advanced stuff with the Dash 8, so that would be our first officer course. Um, now, that hasn't appeared yet, and you may well be uh, wondering why it hasn't. And that uh, leads me to answer the second question, which is, okay, Airline to Sim, you made the cadet training course and it was uh, all good. Uh, you guys liked it. Um, we got five-star reviews from AV Sim. So clearly the um, the big check I sent them worked. But I'm joking. Um, where have we been for the last year and why haven't we released any more Flight Simulator content? Okay. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, just after we released the Q400 training last year, uh, my wife and I went off and embarked on probably the biggest project that any couple can do, apart from maybe having children, uh, which was to build our own house. And here's a man digging a hole. Uh, here's some people doing things with concrete. Uh, here's, here's some bricks. And uh, here's some here, here's the house when it wasn't quite finished. And here it is now. Uh, kind of, yeah, kind of finished. This is kind of finished. Um, now, this all took a long time. And we spent many weeks and many months um, sorting out builders and building and, and problems and things going wrong. And it was it was all a big headache. Um, so there really wasn't an awful lot of time to look at what Airline to Sim was doing and where we could go with Airline to Sim. So I kind of made the decision uh, that uh, we weren't really going to do any more until the house was out, out of my hair. It was finished. Um, so that's where we are now. It's all done. It's all dusted. And we're back for 2015. And we have a huge, huge amount of projects on the starting grid ready to go. Now, three product products uh, that we've got coming. One is the Airbus A320 course because i know you airbus guys retired retired you love being called a retard um i know that you're uh desperate to know when we're going to be releasing that it's on the grid it's happening and it's coming i can't tell you any more than that at the moment apart from the fact that we will be doing a training course for the a320 we're going to show you all about how it's flown in the real world and that will be with a real 
A320. In fact, A319, A320, and A321. Ah, he flies all three. Uh, pilot from the real world. There'll be more on that as we get to it. Uh, the Dash 8 Q400, the first officer course, because, of course, it's an exciting time for Majestic because uh, I think that the pro version of the Dash 8 is not too far away. The guys from Majestic, Simeon, who's one of the big cheeses at uh, Majestic, he's been posting pictures on the Q400 page and on Majestic's own Facebook page uh, of the uh, new version. Uh, I also have the uh, beta version of the Q400 um, on my PC, but I'm not allowed to show you any pictures. I'm sorry. Um, however, I don't think it's going to be too far away so stay tuned and we'll have some more information about a the pro version of the uh, majestic q400 and b the first officer training which really will go hand in hand with that some of the stuff that we're going to show you vor approaches ndb approaches the the fairly complicated stuff that really needs two people uh, the kind of things that you pr should probably be flying with somebody else before you attempt to do it um, we'll be showing you more of that. So um, there's lots more to come, and I I will uh, I will probably do another video fairly soon showing you why you need to be flying with somebody else. You need to be doing shared cockpit with someone else um, because there's stuff it's just too hard to do on your own. Um, and I'll show you how and why that all works pretty soon. Now, what else is going on in the world? Uh, we have uh, something rather exciting coming soon uh, at Airline to Sim. Our next product is going to be, ta-da! the Airline to Sim Boeing 777 Cadet Training Program. Uh, we spoke to the lovely folks at PMDG uh, to ask for their blessing to use their aeroplane in our films, uh, which we got, which we're very excited about. And it is coming. We have a real Boeing 777 pilot on the team. His name is Johnny. Uh, if you are a member of the PMDG 777 Facebook group, which is run by the uh, famous Luke Pabari, yo, um, just because he lives in America, you see, yo. Obviously, he's British, he, but he lives in America. I'd normally say, how do you do, Luke? Uh, but because he's an American now, yo, homie, Luke man. Um, if you're a member of that group, you will know uh, that Johnny, who's a real 777 pilot, often posts some stuff in there. Uh, when he was flying the 777, which he did up till very recently for a big Middle Eastern airline, uh, he would post loads of really cool pictures of him flying the 777 all over the world and really patiently answer questions as well on the aeroplane. Uh, so um, we've got Johnny. Johnny's recently relocated back to the UK uh, to fly for a UK airline. And uh, he uh, lives about 40 minutes up the road from uh, our office, which is r really convenient. Uh, so we're hoping to, to get lots of time with Johnny over the next few weeks. And we'll put together, I think, what will be the most mind-blowing course for the PMDG 777. Um, I did not appreciate until I spent an hour doing a bit of a rehearsal with uh, Johnny in this studio. Oh, my logo's faded out. Come back. Um, I didn't appreciate just how detailed the PMDG 777 was. I didn't appreciate just how far PMDG had gone into putting stuff uh, that was modeled. And, and several times Johnny would say, just press this and press that. I'd be really impressed if they've modeled this. And lo and behold, they have. Um, there's some really, really cool stuff in there. Even if you think you know the 777 pretty well, believe me, once we get a real 777 pilot getting his hands on it, showing us how it's really done, uh, I think you're going to be blown away. So we're really, really excited about that. Um, the 777 course, hopefully coming out later on this year. Um, speaking of PDMG, uh, much like Robert Randazzo, uh, never is drawn on dates, uh, which I think is an incredibly good policy. Um, I'm, I'm not going to uh, back myself into a corner and say when it will be released. We are hoping for some point at the back end of the summer. Uh, so towards the autumn or the fall, if you're fall, if you're American. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see. That is the plan. So there we go. Uh, that's kind of why we've been dark, been kind of busy. Um, the other thing is, is that I have another job apart from running airline to sim. Um, I, uh, I'm a radio presenter. I present on the radio, as you can see from this uh, wonderful face for radio. Um, I'm a radio presenter as well. Here's a picture of me. This is me on the radio. Um, and uh, and that also, you know, sometimes takes me away from doing stuff for airline to sim as well. So, hey, 
life has gone in the way a little bit, but we've got lots of cool stuff. PMDG 777, uh, taught by a real pilot from a real huge 777 operator. We've got the Q400 First Officer program, where we're really going to go in deep and start looking at some of the more advanced stuff that we can do with the Dash 8, and hopefully that will go hand in hand with the Pro release as well. Uh, and for you Airbus guys, there is something coming down the track that you're going to absolutely love as well. Um, I'll have some more news for you, by the way, about our Aurasim Triple Seven Performance Calculator. Here's a quick shot of the beta. Look at this, ah, huh? look. 300 ER landing and takeoff performance. I know you're excited about that one. Uh, I'll have some more information about that pretty soon. And uh, I'll probably come back and do some more videos and, and hang out, you know, because um, I'm a sim guy like you. I, I love flight simulation. Um, and I think it's kind of cool just to hang out and talk about aeroplanes and maybe fire up the, the uh, PC and have a look at some sceneries and some aeroplanes. And we'll just do some cool stuff. Um, I also found, by the way, the other day, um, in my, I was in the loft of my house, and look what I found, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. Um, and it kind of got me thinking, because, you know, in my email inbox, in my Hotmail account, uh, that shows you how long ago it was, I've got all the download links from all the stuff that I bought for this back in the day, the Level D 767 um, Active Sky version 5, was it, or something, the very first one, Um the, uh, the, the cloud replacement textures that we all used to have back in the day with this. Um, there were so many things, there were so many, so many add-ons that we bought for this, and they've all been junked. Uh, and I, I was fascinated to know what this would run like on a, on a modern PC. We've got a big beastie machine for airline to sim. It's got a Titan video card, 6 gig Titan. Uh, we're overclocking the, the CPU. It's an i7. Uh, 3970X is overclocked uh, on a good day, 4.8, 4.9. Um, I wonder what FS9 would run like on that kind of machine. Will we get, you know, 200 frames a second? That'd be nice. Um, we might fire up a little... Uh, sorry about that. I just hit my microphone. Um, we might do a little video on that as well and, and have a bit of fun. So there we go. Lots of cool stuff to come from Airlines to Sim. I'm hoping you will join us on the journey. Uh, if you want to check us out on Facebook, give us a like. Here is the Facebook website address. Uh, check out our website as well. And uh, hopefully very soon, I'll have some more news about exciting training programs coming from Airline to Sim. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.